I don't know what you thought of this movie yet, but can what? we just talk about those eyes? All day long we can talk about those <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Welcome back to our Stupid Reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin, and this is Richard the Third, Dick Siegel. It's true. I'm a dick. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> um, and uh, please follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. You smell that juice? And thank you to support us on Patreon. This will be up there, just like everything else is up there before it's on YouTube. But, oh, stop it. <laughs> Today, we are uh, doing a movie review. Gersnatch! Of, of Gersnatch. <laughs> of our second, second Rithic film, correct? It was Debra. Gersnatch. Have we only watched two Rithics? We've watched a bunch of. We've uh, got to watch uh, Joda Akbar. Yeah, yeah Joda Akbar. Freaking out. Uh, but, and then the, the wow. other one, the, the starts with an A. Honda Honda. No, no not that one. <laughs> but, anyways, uh, wow. so yeah, we, uh, this is our second Rithic film ever. Um, and we just watched a Super 30, so we'll have, That's a, right. we'll have a third one. If to see it live yeah. and new and fresh. But this one, obviously... Uh, and it's a Sanjay Leela Bansali. Yes, it is. Uh, the visual master. Yes, and very different from the other Sanjay Leela Bansali films. Totally different kind of a film. Um, However, we'll get into this. And by the way, if you have not seen this film, go away. Bye-bye now. See you later, because we will have spoilers, because we're going to talk about everything. So this came out in 2010. Correct. I'm what, getting out my notes. And you want to read the uh, synopsis for me real quick? I want to read the synopsis. How about the synopsis? Like, one eye synop. Anyway. A paralyzed magician turned radio jockey files a petition in court seeking permission to end his life. Yes. That's it. That's, uh, that's about the summary. That's about the Obviously size Obviously directed by, uh, and composed by... Uh, I know! Uh, Sanjay, Sanjay, which is crazy. Yep. And starring Rithik. Yep. And <clears throat> this is the first time we've been introduced to her in a so Miss film. Miss Bakchan, yeah. Miss Bakchan. Uh, is it she... Ash Ashwarya Ray? Is that it? Ashwarya Ray? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Ashwarya she is Ray Bakchan. the daughter in law. Daughter in law. Correct. Of, uh, Amatab. Amatab. Yes. Bakchan. Yes. And you've been telling us to watch a film of hers for yeah. a long, 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 long time. <laughs> uh, there are some. Adorers of hers, oh, yeah. who all they have sent me on DMs on Instagram, mm -hmm. they send me no words. It is simply pictures of her. Yeah, over and over and over. And we and saw her. Man. We saw her in the uh, the Dev Das song right. that we loved. Correct. Uh, and she was obviously that beautiful on that. But this is the first time we've been introduced to her, right? Acting wise, right? In, in a film. So, right. Um, what did you think, man? I had stuff I liked and loved, yeah. and then yeah. I had other stuff I didn't like. Yes, Dude, I had, it's a mixed bag. Thing. I felt the same way, and I ended up enjoying the film as as as, as a whole. As a whole, definitely. Yeah. But um, I didn't I didn't love it uh, as uh, I thought I might with other films that he's done that we've loved, like Padmavat and yeah. Bashar Ramastani. I think those um, are I think those are very suited to his style, though. Highly, um, the, highly, because this one didn't have uh, the visual um, map. Like I mean, it was good. It was like. <laughs> Not that it was ugly, but it, no. like, it wasn't like Bastrami like, Mastanani and it wasn't like a, no. a Padmavat in terms of visual. It didn't lend itself to that. Like, for example, I took a picture. Look at this. And I guess I can send this to you and you can put it up there. That shot, when she's coming up. Oh, yeah. That's it right there. I mean, the freaking backlighting of every single candle and the uplighting of every table. His ability with yeah. his DP... To frame pictures is nothing short of just pure sure, visual man. artistry that yeah. I don't know I've ever seen in any director. Yeah, in a lot of his shots are very uh, symmetrical. He, I think that's a big thing. Oh in yeah, the oh yeah. Um, I, I literally I stopped. I saw that frame and I rewound and I stopped it to 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 take the picture and then just looked at it for at least two three minutes, mesmerized by the mm -hmm. detail. Yeah, it's he is unbelievable. Just brilliant in but terms I, of the visuals. I agree. His visual aesthetic and his style, um, and this may be unfair, but for me, it doesn't fit this uh, telling. Mm -hmm. That was one of the things I, I, I had a disjoint about mm -hmm. with this. Yeah. Um, it's not that I didn't like it because it's beautiful. The cinematography is beautiful. Did you end up crying though in the end? I actually did not. Really? Yeah. I thought you would at the end. Yeah, no, I did not. No, and I can explain why. Okay. But anyways, um, the, then we can talk about the, uh, the acting, which... 
Obviously, Rithik did very well. This is obviously the best role we've ever seen him in. I think obviously he had issues, but I, I don't hold him to the same standard that I do like uh, somebody like um, uh, Ranveer or Amitabh Bachchan or people or like or that. Shafiq Kapoor. Yeah, um, but he did very, or very. He, yeah, he did very, very well. Yeah, this is definitely the best thing I've ever seen him in. And he had moments that he was phenomenal, and he had other moments that I saw him struggling. Which and he took on. I put this in my notes. Yeah. He took on, I have a lot of notes, what a surprise, I don't know. Uh, he took on a Herculean yeah. role. Yeah, and that's like a Daniel Day-Lewis role right there, man. Very, very few. I'm talking maybe five actors yeah. that I could name off could could do this role. Yeah, and do it perfectly and, and throughout do it, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. if you want to see my opinion the greatest performance ever of someone dealing with a physical handicap. It's Daniel Day-Lewis in my left foot. Yeah. It's, it's flawless. Yeah. It's, it's, it's perfect. It's a very difficult role. It's so I, hard. I'm, I'm not saying he did bad because he didn't. I think he did very, very well. Yeah, I, my, um, my critiques are nitpicky. Yes. Which a lot of people will think I didn't like his performance. And it's, no, it's, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm getting. I think I'm getting very, into very nitpicky... Well. The kind of stuff that I would deal with with actors who I would love, because here's the thing: I think he did he did a, a meritorious and praiseworthy performance. But I think the guy, there's a. It was one of those things where I'm watching him. I was I, I wished I was like a fly on the wall and and able to like say, okay, cut now. What are you doing? And help him to process yeah. some things and see where he was going. So we can get into that a little yeah. bit more. But and then I think he did amazing though, which is no surprise in his dance numbers, oh. especially the one that was most noticeable with the ball. The ball. Yeah. Holy cow! That's a that was a great song. And then he was just doing his ballet. I'm guessing ballet. And it was it was. Uh, I said at one point he did one particular move in the very early stage of the dance that was pure ballet movement that we haven't really seen him do. No. And again, the muscularity being lyrical. The fluidity. I, yeah, I said out loud, I said, oh, Rithik, so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> like, that so was... So beautiful. That, and then, obviously, Sanjay shots in that as okay. well. But um, Oh, when he's walking up the light? Oh, yeah. But, like, Shh. it's obviously, it's no surprise that his dance numbers are just... Beautiful. Obviously, his strength. And he's so hard to look at. Yeah, he is. He's just, a, he's just such an eyesore on screen. And, uh, um, <laughs> but I think the, the girl that stole the show... And that's no surprise to you guys. Was uh, Bak Chan like right? Do you agree? No, I'm, I, I think she. We're going to be here a while. I think she was. I love her just as much we're as I her think her I love um, uh, Shudevi. I felt like there were some aspects of his where a backstory wasn't fully created for him. That the subtext, I don't know how fully created it was, or how much he was tapping into emotional recall, or. Uh, 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 some of the the really technical dynamics that can take you from something where you're um, performing a role versus inhabiting mm -hmm. the role. There were moments, particularly his cadences, there were so many things he did that were so fast. And that could be something as simple as the director saying, I need him to be more agitated. I need you to go, 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 go. And the, the actor may not necessarily feel like, I want to do that. But the director is the one in control. Yeah. And there are times where you have to give the director what they're asking for, even if you don't have, you know, the, the quintessential, what's my motivation? Mm -hmm. Well, your motivation is the director said, do it. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah, sometimes yeah. what has to happen. But moment. there were moments, for example, when his mom showed up. Yeah. My, and this is where I don't, it's that, it's that space between what I would have preferred, mm -hmm. but also letting it be whatever Rithik was doing without judging him, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see... It went so fast. He saw her and said something, and it was immediately there. Versus, how long was she, how long had it been since he'd seen her? How deep is this relationship? I would have loved to have seen it just sit there and breathe mm -hmm. for a minute. And there were a lot of moments for his character where I felt he he was agitated. And then here's another nitpicky thing, yeah. which will fall into the Daniel Day Lewis style of method acting. Yeah. Um, I. He was flawless in terms of his not moving his body. Yeah. There wasn't a there wasn't a moment where he had that. terrific control of his total body. Total <laughs> control of his body. And I looked. I mean, there were points where I was watching shoulders, arms, hands. He never moved a muscle. Mm -hmm. um, yet, I would have liked to have seen, this is my preference, they might not have been able to do this. Mm -hmm. I would have loved to have seen them give him six months to get muscle atrophy. Because mm -hmm. he's been that way for 14 years. 
So someone who'd been that way for I don't know that he'd years. want to, though, because he is a dancer. I know, and he has to dance yeah. in those moments. This is really crazy nitpicky. Yeah. I don't think really he, crazy. I, I don't think he could do that. I and, and, and I don't know that he, he could. Those were just some of the things I'm thinking of in terms of being fully drawn into. Because I was net, there was only, there were only two people and one moment that I was fully drawn into and believed what I was watching was really happening. Mm -hmm. The two people were, believe it or not, the little just role her husband had. Oh, yeah. And that scene. That was a, a, an intense scene. I love and that And the way scene. he shot that by just sitting the camera at the bed and not moving the way Rithik can't move. Yeah, yeah I, thought, and then they I go, thought it was brilliant. They go off. Because you felt like, move, dude. Yeah. And then they come back onto the bed. Uh -huh. And I thought the husband was great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did a great job. So now, let's begin to talk about her, shall we? <laughs> yes. Uh, I mean, just go right ahead because I'm sure you're going to say everything I'm thinking. Yeah, she... Every... <laughs> Just obviously the first thing you notice is her freaking eyes, which is just like Sri Devi. Um, and very much remind, reminded me quite a bit of, of Topeka. Yeah, yeah. But much bigger. Yeah, much bigger. Which is crazy to say, Topeka's um, got such big eyes. But yeah, Sri Devi. So I don't know where this was in her career, but uh, obviously her character was the one I was invested in the most. The, um, this was for me the, the, the same way that I saw Priyanka in Bajiramastani oh, yeah. and was like, Oh wow, you have totally you're the one I'm watching. Yeah. I felt this way about it. Yeah. Her. And then um I just forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> what was I gonna and say? And you say I'm old. <laughs> you were talking about her eyes. Yeah. No, oh um, and if this was oh, her yeah. first I love this the, the the story that, of this film, um, I thought was brilliant and heartbreaking for her. Because mm. one, I didn't realize that she was married Me too. that whole time. And so when that was revealed, I was like, oh, and because she's obviously clearly in love with Rithik's character. Right. Um, and, and I then, love all those references to I want to see your legs. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it, I thought she handled everything very well. Um, like when she got mad at him at the beginning and then you met that other guy who I wasn't a huge fan of either. No and, one else in the film I was a fan of um, other than, I mean, I didn't detest them. I've seen a lot worse, but there wasn't anyone else that for me was like, shout out. Yeah. Um, there, yeah. Yeah, I'd agree. But uh, obviously, she was on screen most of the time, so that um, thankfully, yeah. I, uh, I just, but I thought the whole the story of the whole thing with uh, she was there for what, twelve years, mm -hmm. helping him. She was married the whole time, never took a day off. Right. And then in the end, she uh, they got married, which I was like, mm. yeah, because yeah, it's like one. I didn't quite understand because he lost the case. Right. I didn't understand the end fully. Me neither. Because I was like, okay, is she, she going to kill him? Or right. Like, I don't know what's... How, how are we going to do that? Because that was the scene before he proposed. Which I think it is going to be her because he said, you're going to get anywhere from two to ten years for doing this. And she was like, yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't care. Um, yeah. So I think she was going to be the one to, to, yeah, to do it. Put a pillow? I don't... I but it was odd to me that everybody else was there, like, drinking a toast and celebrating the fact that this is going to happen. You know, I... I understand what they were trying to do. Maybe we missed something, like if like somebody was about to die and it was like their last days and sure, they had which, a terminal illness, which happened. I get that. Then that was br the way they had him set up, a big set, with his yeah, glass of wine, a big celebration. So I think that's what they were trying to do. I just didn't understand the end because um, it, it, maybe that was the end, and I was just like, oh, so she is gonna kill him. Yeah. Okay, that's so right. That that's something I didn't quite understand, but uh, uh, I did enjoy, and I enjoyed all the angles of like. The doctor needing, he was like, I'm, I'm here to save, save lives right. and kind of everybody in his life. Because the subject matter of this film, uh, I think is a great subject matter. Once again, with India and their subject matter. Yep. I've never seen a story about assisted suicide. No. Uh, and it's obviously a very touchy subject because yep. if I was a vegetable, well, I would want, I would want to die. Is it Million Dollar Baby? Have oh, yeah. some of that in there? Yeah, that's yeah, the only one I've ever that's seen. the only other one that comes to mind that <coughs> covers it. But it's and it's a big. I mean, here in the United States, you guys probably know this because you guys are well more aware of what's going on here than we are over there. Mm -hmm. uh, the the that issue, it's an international issue. Oh yeah, uh, it's a, just it's a big deal about the right to 
life and yeah. all of the things that they they covered which yeah. is is it, hard to cover it's a it's a hard cover because uh, but i love the questions that it, it arose um, yeah because one if i was in rithic's character i'd want the exact same thing i want to die i don't want to live like that that's right it's just awful right. i can't i can't live like that right and uh, i see it's one of those conundrums yeah and then but where i see both sides if of you allow equation. it then you have to like talk about the whole just people that aren't in this situation that just are depressed and want to yeah. die and then you you want them to actually go to therapy and right get through all this kind of stuff and right. and so it's it's one of those Pandora's box things and that really can it cannot be simplified which is why it's a great film because I love films that leave me with questions absolutely um, and so that that was one of my favorite parts of this uh, along with uh, she was definitely my favorite part and so I'm very much looking forward to seeing her other work in in Dev Das uh, with well her let me, let me say a little bit more about what I was yeah, writing yeah, down about this lady. First of all, she's obviously beautiful. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is, I got mad, again, watching an Indian film. You know what I got mad about, Corbin Miles? I've never heard of her. Not just that. Oh. India. Are you getting on a soapbox? Yes. <laughs> the number of beautiful actors, both male and female, that you have. Both in their heart, because you see it in their artistry, as well as their personhood. Mm -hmm. um, that also have incredibly deep talent as actors. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that doesn't happen a lot here. No, it doesn't. <laughs> what in also that does not happen a lot with our I, actors. I, I think it, it's it's kind of crazy because a lot of films we watch, I'd say three fourths, we have been more drawn to the female characters in them. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, right? Uh, and it, I would say. The, which is which is unusual. Well, it's because for a lot of the films that we watch, because I would say the majority of American films that we watch, there's a gravitation toward well, the males. Be, I mean, that's the issue with Hollywood. They, they've oh, yeah. had a struggle for a long time oh, yeah. giving females good roles. Yeah. So that's that's not a surprise, right? Um, but obviously, India in giving these females these amazing roles and then their uh, uh, the time, yes. because one, their films are longer, and then the uh, the roles to shine. And these beautiful these beautiful women. Mm -hmm. With such great skill mm. artistically, and sh her skill, mm. okay, she's weird in this respect. Mm. She is so aware of her screen presence. Mm. In the same way, you know, who she rem she reminded me of some of our legendary Hollywood actresses from the heyday and the golden era of cinema back in the MGM grand days, like Ava Gardner, mm -hmm. Jane Russell. Uh, Betty Davis. She reminded me a lot of Betty Davis. These are women who uh, crossed the bridge between the silent era of overacting and the method acting era where you become the characters. Mm -hmm. She has the ability to be aware of the camera at all times like those ladies, but still be believable and be in character and be in the moment. Mm -hmm. That's really, really rare. There are moments where she is just dead still. Moments where she did a turn and it was it was done. You know it was done because she knows it's going to look good on camera. Mm. <laughs> like Scott, he will tell me all the time about the reason he knows he can do well on TV. This is a, a, a mutual friend of ours who does TV work because he knows what the camera wants. Mm -hmm. And he'll just do it because he knows what the camera wants, but he'll still be believable doing it. She's clearly a master at that. Mm -hmm. When she got up to dance, oh yeah, I I literally... She got up, I went, oh, oh, oh my. Oh my. Yeah. She is just unbelievable. Yeah. I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking for, and on Twitter, if you don't follow us there, why not? Why not? But don't you like to tweet with Corbin's twat? <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I had... Usually they know what we're watching. Yeah, if you pay attention there, because I'll I'll send out a gif of something from the movie, and then like I got comment after comment of yes, you are finally gonna see the legend that is right. Uh, uh, how do you say her name? <laughs> uh, I believe it's Ishwarya. Ishwarya. Ishwarya Ray. Bakchan. Yeah, Ishwarya Ray Bakchan. I hope that's right. She deserves yeah. it to be pronounced she's, correctly. She's uh, um, just so brilliant, and she's in Joda Akbar. Yes, with Rithik, who with I heard Rithik. Is, everyone says that's like one of his greatest performances. Uh, and then Dev Doss. And then, yes. Um, so there's a bunch of hers that we're looking forward to exploring. I know she's probably been around as long as like Sri Devi. Yeah, and she, comparing the two, and this is not really kind of a fair comparison because Rithik had so much he had to deal with. Oh, yeah. but, but getting back in some of the techno jargon, um, 
there were moments for him. Mm -hmm. She never had any of these. There were, I believed her every moment she was on screen. Mm -hmm. um, there were moments with Rithik I didn't believe, where I felt um, I felt he was potentially indicating mm -hmm. um, and potentially showing me what we he probably need to show us versus versus touching into, which is which is only one. Of, I mentioned backstory. I mentioned subtext. Uh, also, I wonder, and this is where I wanted to be like with him and talking acting. Mm -hmm. As you know, there are some places, because this character he plays has to go to some really vulnerable, raw places. And to be believable as that character, you as the actor, you've got to share some of your raw stuff. Yeah. To be believable. Substitution, emotional recall, whatever that is. And I, I felt like maybe there were, there were some walls there. And I don't know if that was because he hasn't done the work, personally, to break through walls. Mm -hmm. Or... Again, directorial choice. I need you to do this. I need the pace of the scene to be this. Yeah. Um, again, nitpicky, but that kind of work technique um, notes I would give him, I didn't have any of those for her. No. She's the only one in the film I would have no acting notes for. No. No, not at all. Yeah, she was utterly brilliant. And yeah. I'm quite excited and to again, see more from her. And again, I didn't dislike Rithik. I, I, I hope I'm, it's not coming across like I didn't like I, I felt like he... Like when he, he hated Ali Abad and ran the Yeah, air. no. Remember? There was no hatred there. Remember those? This is... this is The guy got to the summit. So here, so he, he got to the summit of Everest, mm -hmm. which he had a huge mountain to climb. Mm -hmm. He just didn't do it as prettily as mm -hmm. someone for me like a Daniel Day-Lewis would do it. And uh, it I'm just being nitpicky. It was a very tough role. I, I, I mean, uh, most one of the hardest roles you could ever do. Yeah, most actors would probably fail more than would succeed. I would say absolutely. And the uh, fact that he could keep me through, mm -hmm. even though I didn't find him believable one hundred percent of the time, I found his body work to be completely believable, as mm -hmm. you said, dancer. Yeah, and big, then obviously big. any of his dance numbers. Well, yeah, obviously that's no surprise. Though. Yeah, um, yeah, that, that was one of my favorite parts of the whole film. Is the the ball. The ballet, because it was yeah. just so... I could watch that over and over again. But I, I also found this, and I don't know if this was because of the script or what, um, or my own impositions upon him. I found him to be a weird, almost contradictory mix of optimism and pessimism that really kind of threw me. I think, I think what that was is they didn't give enough backstory, because he was a sarcastic asshole um, as a paraplegic, um, which sense you mean you can't yeah, move any of your body so you'd be but, but I, they didn't build that up in his the, 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 the early the early stages the fact they gave you the opposite that moment with the fly on his nose yeah conveyed to you this is a guy who can accept reality for what it is and turn a negative into a positive yeah. because he just said the fly's gonna be there I'm just gonna laugh and he does that with the rain mm -hmm. so someone who seems to be that mentally tough that was a good scene, though. Wasn't the, it? The, the rain. The rain. I was, I was See, this like, is oh, a guy... He's basically getting He's this weird <laughs> seeming contradiction of extraordinary mental toughness, which I guess he has to be. He's been Maybe doing this for 14 years. Maybe that was the point, though. That he's reached his breaking point? Yeah. And just because and just because you've given up yeah, maybe that doesn't was. mean you're still no longer mentally tough or optimistic? Yeah. And then that, that makes sense. Yeah, so um, there was just some little stuff that uh, obviously we both had an issue with. Score. Um, How about the score? Oh, yeah. We his music. We always yeah. we always forget about the score, even we though we love music. The score. It, it was. I mean, we've talked beautiful. about the dancing, so that includes the the the, the songs. Yeah, they were all really brilliant when she got up and danced. I thought that was a great song. Um, yeah, I thought the whole there was a moment, uh, the moment when he went to sleep and she drew the long, pretty curtain around him and she's walking away. There was something going on with the score at that point that really stood out to me on how pretty the score mm -hmm. was. Um, and there were moments where I saw, and I've read some reviews where people um, didn't like this about Sanjay's visual aesthetic with this subject matter and this style of film. Mm. Because for example, and I, I, I like Sanjay, so I, he kind of gets away with it for me. Mm -hmm. um, the lack of believability in, for example, the funeral for his mom. Mm. There's this aerial shot, not too high, where he has the people spaced around her in a way that would never be done at a funeral. Oh, yeah. But visually, it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so that's true. That, that kind of visual artistry that's conveying some kind of sym symmetry and message of uniformity mm -hmm. and painting a picture works in, in an epic like Padmavat or Bajaramastani. In a more realistic piece, I can see why someone would feel pulled away from it. At the same time, I was like... <laughs> Of course he's doing that. Yeah, you watch it for the shot. Of course he's man. doing that. <laughs> just, just like with um, uh, our, our friend uh, 
Vishal. Yeah, Vishal. Oh, um, it's it's just they're they're masters at their craft, and so yeah, but watching them work just like an actor is is just fun. I think the difference for me is oh, there's a huge difference between those two. You know what the difference reminds me of? This is a great comparison yeah, funny. of their directing style. And... I know it is. <laughs> Here's their directing styles as masters because I consider them both master filmmakers. Mm. They remind me mm. of Beethoven and Mozart. Yeah. And here, here's why, for those of you who haven't paid attention to those two. Sanjay would be Mozart, mm -hmm. whose impeccable artistry, mm -hmm. attention to detail is just flawless. Mm -hmm. Probably comes up with his visuals the way Mozart came up with his melodies and doesn't even make any revisions. Just, mm -hmm. blah, 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 just this beautiful artistry just flows. Mm -hmm. Beethoven fights, mm -hmm. scratches, gets dirty, does stuff that he doesn't like, and then... And I, they both come up with masterpieces. Mm -hmm. That's Vishal. That's Vishal. Yeah. Both Vishal's Beethoven, and and Sanjay's mm -hmm. Mozart. I will say one last thing for, and I agree, for for Rithik. Uh, we I watched this film before the Super Thirty uh, trailer. Before the Super Thirty trailer. And I <laughs> saw the growth. In obviously, it's been ten years. Yeah. Even in that trailer. Yeah. Um. Of of, of Rithik. And his, he looks really believable, and I obviously can't speak for it yet because we haven't course, seen it. Of course, but he looked. When was Deborah? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, Deborah was, uh, I think, a year after, after Gazarish. Gazarish. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt you. But yeah, I could see the growth even in that, and then obviously, so there's uh, there's other films that we need to see, and they, I think Rithik's a really really good actor. I do and too. And I think he can I, get even better even with time. It, it took. Balls. Oh yeah, this is. To I mean, take on like I world. said, most would fail at this. Most would fail utterly and horribly and embarrassingly, and yeah. everyone would be mocking and making fun of them. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Um, but there's others we need to watch. So please let us know what uh what the next film of his we need to watch. Hers, man. Yeah. Agnapath is another one for Rithik that a lot of people suggest. Well, we got to, and Joda Akbar. They're like they're gonna be screaming for yeah. that because it's both of them again, both right? Them. Joda Akbar, but then you also got the Dev Dots that we. <laughs> I know, guys. We know. And then another I know the list is long. <laughs> Shole suede. Uh. <laughs> You're not sleeping, are you? Nope. Yeah.